Fleet Street veteran Sean Hoare knows that all too well. He used to work at the News of the World and The Sun before that. A tabloid journalist for over 20 years chasing stories about celebrities. That lifestyle left him with a drink and drugs problem and he lost his job. He's publicly admitted his part in phone hacking and claimed his editor, Andy Coulson, knew about it. As a result, he was recently interviewed by the police under caution. I decided to uh, exercise my right of uh, no comment. And he insisted his solicitor was present when he talked to us about wrongdoing by journalists on the paper. It was endemic. You know, it happened. When you say it was endemic, phone hacking and the use of illegal practices to secure stories, that was endemic. Is that what you're saying? Yes. Yeah. People were scared, right? So if you've got to get a story, you've got to get it. And you have to get that by whatever means. Were you subject to that pressure? Yeah. yeah of course I was. I mean, that is the culture of News International. At the News of the World, the key people who decided what stories to chase were the senior executives on the news desk. And if there was no way that information could be obtained properly by journalists, the allegation is they knew people outside the paper who were prepared to break the law to get it for them. So the news desk had people who had customary access to bank accounts? I, I would imagine so, because... Yeah, you can see a story. Phone accounts. Yeah. Mortgage accounts. Mm. Health records. Yeah. So the news desk could commission people to do their dirty work for them and get, by illegal means, these pieces of information. I, I think that's a reasonably fair way of saying it. One of the first reporters to blow the whistle on phone hacking in the UK has been found dead outside of London. Sean Hoare was a journalist for the News of the World. The tabloid now shuttered because of the scandal. Police say the death is unexplained but is not suspicious. Hoare told the New York Times that hacking phones of celebrities and murder victims, among others, was widely used, even encouraged, at the tabloid owned by media mogul Rupert Murdoch. UK lawmakers will grill Murdoch, his son, and another executive on Tuesday in a public hearing. The crisis has extended to the upper ranks of Britain's police, with the resignation of Assistant Commissioner John Yates, Scotland Yard's top anti-terrorism official. This comes after the police chief quit. Both have links to a former executive from the News of the World, now under arrest. Lee Powell, The Associated Press.